I get it. Lots of people are upset. Why is the government coming after the little person? Why don't they go after the billionaires? Well, they should go after the billionaires. But as a mom, that's like my kids saying, well, Billy doesn't have to come in when it gets dark. Well, I don't care about Billy's parents. I'm your mom. You got to come in. So we all have to pay our taxes and pay what's due. Hi, I'm Michelle Singletary. I'm the personal finance columnist for the Washington Post. There's lots of news around a new reporting requirement for uh, gig workers, people who are self-employed. And so lots of people are upset thinking, oh, there's this new tax. And so what happened was under the, a lot of the pandemic, uh, laws that were passed. One of them required these apps, these payment apps, taking credit card payments, you know, Cash App, Vidmo, PayPal, that if you make more than $600 a year, they have to report that to the IRS. Previously, the limit was very high. It was $20,000 and 200 transactions. So now there's this reporting requirement and it's freaking everybody out because lots of us use that for business and personal. Grandma sends you some money. You go out to a meal with your friends and you split the tab. They're not going to get, they shouldn't, I should say, send you a 1099K. This is why it's very key starting this year that if you have a personal side business, you work for a gig company or, or you know, an entrepreneur, that you need to separate your personal uh, transactions from your business transactions. Lots of people in this area, people who work for themselves, oftentimes mingle personal with business. Many of these platforms have a business. Uh, you can sign up as a business or you can sign up for personal. This is the year that you're going to need to do that so that you accurately get reported for the income that's coming in and not you splitting a meal or you're sending money to your nephew or your grandma's sending you money. You want to be sure to keep those things separate and start it now. You don't want to try to be working this out towards the end of next year when the forms are due to start to be sending out to you. Now, lots of people are already telling their customers, don't pay me through these apps anymore. Uh, pay me cash. Uh, you know, if you want to do that, of course you can, but you're still supposed to report that income. And it's really important because there are a lot of reasons why you want to report your income. First of all, your social security payments when you retire are based on your income and, and getting enough credits in the system to get that payment. So short term, yeah, you can get around not paying the IRS, but when it comes time for you to retire, or let's say you get disabled, you want to be sure that that benefit is there for you. Um, and also you might lose out on some tax breaks, the earned income tax credit. So if you're making less than like $51,000 a year, you could be leaving some tax breaks on the table by only taking cash and under reporting your income. So if you have any more financial questions, not necessarily about the tax season, just anything, how to save, how to get out of debt, please please give me a call and I have a toll free number for you. Uh, 1-855-ASK-POST or 1-855-275-7678. If you can't remember all of that, just 1-855-ASK-POST and it'll voicemail will come to me and hopefully I'll be able to answer your question.